and no reality. This is the DNA of creation. And he's saying this isn't just a poetic metaphor. This is the way it is. It's marvelous, isn't it? And in some ways, the power of that speech, it makes you want to believe. But the Hebrew alphabet is not just the contingent squiggles of a local Mediterranean god. No, no, this, we're really onto something here. This is the DNA of creation. There's a sense in which something expressed so powerfully makes you want to get over the fact that actually, logically, it's slightly ridiculous. And this, in some ways, is the allure of our belief, not just in some kind of ur language, some basic language which would explain everything, but the allure of the religious worldview. And by the religious worldview, I don't necessarily just mean something like Sufism or Kabbalism, um, paganism, Catholicism, whatever your particular needs are and however they are. The dream that perhaps science itself has a type of religious messianic hope written into it. I remember maybe 10 or 15 years ago, serious hardline scientists, men who thought of themselves perhaps as rationalists and atheists, saying the Human Genome Project. Once we can understand the Human Genome Project, we will understand everything that is to understand about the human being. And again, we want to believe this. It's nonsense. Of course it's nonsense. Even if we understood the end, we'd sequence the entire human genome, would that tell us anything about how and why Percy Shelley wrote Ozymandias? Would it tell us anything about love or heartbreak or loss or mourning the dead? No. Whether it's done scientifically or via the Kabbalah or, or, or via, via music, there is a, a yearning in us, isn't there, for the big explanation. And I think this is where it's not so important to ask ourselves the question, is it real or not? But ask ourselves the question, does it work? Does it function? The Ouija board, a connection with the outside by the use of language, a connection with some sort of extra human, intelligent gods, angels, demons, who knows? Is it real? Does it work? I remember in the 1980s asking Robert in his library of this incredible collection of, of metaphysics and, uh, and religious documents and testaments, especially alchemy, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If 